Last time I used Wo Chen, I absolutely dominated on the Series 3 rank ladder. Hopefully today, it's the same thing. We're rocking out with another Wo Chen team, this time using it with Glamora. And if you guys seen this on the rank ladder, this combo right here is deadly. Wo Chen can pretty much stall out most Pokemon. Paired up with Glamora to poison Pokemon, they're just going to die quicker. And this thing is just going to run through your team. We also have Gothitel for a bit of support. Then we got some hyper offensive Pokemon with Fluttermane, Gyarados, and Dragonite. Cannot wait to use this team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. That's a plus one and his Patreon made this team right here looking amazing. I will be linking his channel down in the description below. So if you want the Poke Pace and want to go check out more gameplay on this team, definitely go ahead down the link in the description below and check out that's his channel. Well, we got Wo Chen as our first Pokemon for today's team preview with the Tablets of Ruin and the Leftovers as his item. Protect, Leech Seed, Palm Puff, and Foul Play. Like I said, this Pokemon's made to just out bulk and stall out some Pokemon. Really loving this move set. We got Kalamora as our second Pokemon. Like I said, we could pair it up with Wu Chen, Poison Pokemon, and stall pretty easily. It has Toxic Debris, the Assault Vest, and then Mortal Spin, Energy Ball, Earth Power, and Power Gem. Gothitelle is going to be our third Pokemon, and Gothitelle is going to be really good to pair up with Wu Chen due to its Shadow Tag ability, making opposing Pokemon not being able to swap out. So we can set up Leech Seeds, just wait for a stall. They're not allowed to swap out. We constantly get that HP recovery and damage from those seeds. This one has the Covert Cloak as its item, Rock and Protect, Psychic, Heal Pulse, and Fake Out. Fluttermane is going to be our third Pokemon, and Fluttermane's actually going to be really good up against Chi Yu team. So, Fluttermane's super effective up against Chi Yu, and then on top of that, it outspeeds Chi Yu. And then on top of that, again, it's going to get the, uh, the special defense drop from the Chi Yu, so we can hit other Pokemon a lot harder. It has Protosynthesis, Focus Ash, Protect, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Parasong. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Dragonite, and Dragonite is really good going up against Shen Pao teams. If they bring out Shen Pao, they're going to lower the defense of all Pokemon. I have the Life Orb, I got Tailwind, I got Normal Terror, I got E-Speed. I can do some crazy damage with this Pokemon. We got Inner Focus, Tailwind, Ice Spinner, E-Speed, and Dragon Call for its moveset. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be my boy, Gary the Gyarados over here with Intimidate and the Citrus Berry. Going to be very good at going up against physical attackers due to that ability. and going to be strong all around because of its stats. That is Protect, Dragon Dance, Terra Blast, and Waterfall. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, look to grab some wins with the Series 3 Wo Chen team. So guys, I'm sitting here 11 and 4 on the rank ladder, which I think is really, really good. 11 wins in 15 matches, we're killing it. We're ranked 1500, and now we're going up against somebody who's 243, which is pretty wild. A Ting Lu team over here, alongside with Sableye, Palafin, and then Mousehold Annihilate, and Amoonga. So looking probably to stall and do some big damage with Annihilate and Palafin, right? That looks to be the play. That definitely looks to be the play. I kind of want to bring in a Pokemon like Fluttermane, Wochang, Glamour is not bad, so I can poison. I kind of really, really like that, right? That seems like our best bet. And what is your terror type, Wochan? Because fighting is a little bit scary. We do have poison for you, which I really like. I really do like the poison type on you. So I might go in with both these guys and just get after the match that way. They do have Sableye to fake out. They do have the mouse hold and Nile combo they can start beating up. But from here, I feel like we just start setting up leeches and kind of getting after the match that way, right? Not too bad. I could go into you. I could go into you in Paris Song Trap if I wanted to. But I'm really scared of that Annihilate, right? Annihilate looks to be scary. Do I lead something to counter it? I could lead something to counter it. And then bring these two in the back end. Which I kind of like that a little bit more. I kind of like these two as a lead. And then bring Glamora and Wochen in the back end. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But this one seems to be tough player that's 243 in the world that's pretty high that's pretty high so our opponent's probably pretty good we're gonna have to play around it try to grab ourselves a win here but i feel like annihilate is going to be our problem right i feel like mousehold annihilate could potentially be the lead and then from here what can i do i don't know what i could do hmm let's see is it gonna be annihilate mousehold it is yeah 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 so dragon and fluttermane's gonna come out here we're probably gonna see a nice little terror early on here and i do have focus ash on fluttermane if i do remember yeah we do the Flutter main with that is going to be great. I think we just throw a Shadow Ball in this slot, just in case it wants to Terrasilize. But the problem with that is if you go for a Follow Me, right? Follow Me, but I feel like Beat Up's got to be the first turn. But it could go Follow Me, Bulk Up. He has a lot of different options here. Could go Tailwind, I could go Dragon Call. I could Terrasilize and just start E-Speeding. I think we stay here and we just Dragon Call this slot. 
So he ends up, oh my lord, protecting. Luckily, we went for Dazzle and Gleam, so we're going to be able to do that. And what is Mousel going for? Nice little baby dies. We are in our focus, but it still drops us. And our focus only blocks us from, like, Intimidates, which would have been really good. So baby dot eyes is going to definitely help him out tremendously. So we chip up doing that. Dragon Call is going to get blocked. I might just swap you into maybe Wu Chan at this point. And just go for another Dazzle and Gleam. So Gleam and then hard swap into maybe even Glamora. I mean, Glamora's not bad. The poison could be really good for us. Um, if they're going to change typing, I can definitely see it being more so fire. So having Glamora with the power gem is going to be good. So I'm going to hard swap into you. If you want to hit my Dragonite, you can pop the Toxic Debris. I don't mind that. But yeah, I definitely see a Terrasalization coming out here. And there it is. So Terra into, again, maybe fire. Hopefully fire. Just so my Glamora can outspeed and we can pop. A nice lovely power jump into that could be good. It's gonna be straight water. We do have energy ball for that, so I might Terra and hit him with that. Might want to do that. Not too sure. Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly here. Are we gonna see a beat up combo here? Definitely a possibility. Yep, there's beat up, and hopefully you hit into my Flutter main slot, because then at this point I can focus Ash up, and then we can Gleam and energy ball that next turn as well. So I like this. I don't like, I mean, yeah, I like this a lot. So Rage Fist comes in that slot. Focus Sash coming in hot here. So we got the Sash ready to go. Do I really want to take out Mouse Hold here? Yeah, I kind of do. I definitely kind of do. Hmm. Because Annihilate might just protect and he might just let that, uh, might just let the Mouse Hold go down. Yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to Terrasalize. I'm going to Terrasalize and get off as much damage as I can with Energy Ball. That's my play. If I can get rid of Annihilate, I feel like we should be thriving here. And he ends up withdrawing the mouse hold, going into who? But you gotta be protecting uh Annihilate at this point. You're gonna go into a move. That's a smart play. A really smart play. So he ends up going into a move. He's definitely protecting the Annihilate. Hopefully not. That would be big time for us if he doesn't protect the Annihilate. Because Annihilate is going to be that Pokemon that try to win him the match, right? I mean I'm grass now, so Rage Powder won't affect us, which is really, really good for us. That's really, really good for us. So, I think we just do the same thing. I think we just do the same thing, but we go for a Shadow Ball this time. So, we pop the Gleam. Gleam's chipping up a little bit. It might even Hard Swap. I wouldn't mind if you Hard Swap's Annihilate. Saves for later. We have our Stall team in the back. We have our Stall Wo Chen in the back. So, that's going to be really good for us. We might even have Ting Lu. Ting Lu could be a problem because if it's Fisher Ting Lu, he can really get after me. He could really get after me. So from here, I think we just... We could Gleam again, just chip up damage. But I think I'm just going to Shadow Ball, and I'm just going to Energy Ball in this slot. Double down into it. He just uses Protect. Let's let's get after it. Let's get after it. Ho hopefully, we can take it out. If you go for a Rage Powder, you go for a Rage Powder. It's not that big of a deal. But what I think our opponent might do is that, and then Spore me, right? Definitely an option. Let's see how this one plays out here. Who are you going to go into? We're going to Ting Lu. So Ting Lu comes out here. It is ground and dark. Shadow Ball is going to fly here. How much damage is this really going to do? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. And it eats up against Special Attackers due to its ability. We do get the Special Defense drop, which is pretty good, but still. This thing's going to spore my... Oh, no. It's just going to take out my Fluttermane, I think. And yo. Chill. <laughs> Big time crit from Glamora. <laughs> Glamora, chill. Chill. And you end up spore. Now, that's a weird call. Now, that's a weird call. Wouldn't you think they would just KO with, like, a Palm Puff? Wouldn't you think that would just be the play? I would think that would just be the play. But from here, I'm just going to Mortal Spin. Because I know Mortal Spin will pick up the KO onto, uh, onto the Ting Lu. And then on top of that, if he swaps, I can poison a Pokemon. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Plus, it gets off a, a tiny bit of damage over onto Amoogus. You can't poison him because he is part poison, so... We'll see. But yeah, wouldn't you think that they would just take out my Fluttermane with a Palm Puff or something? But Mortal Spin really didn't, didn't do enough damage there. So we allow Ting Lu to get off one turn. That kind of hurts. I should have just KO'd the Ting Lu. And he goes for Fisher. Luckily, he missed it. Luckily, he missed the Fisher. That works for me. He's going to Palm Puff. Are you healing up Ting Lu? No, you're going after me. Okay, I can deal with that. I think the Lord he didn't heal up the Ting Lu. Ting Lu's going to go down to Poison here. And we're just going to go from here. We are just going to go from here. Hopefully, my Fluttermane can wake up here. But, dude, this Terra-type on Glamora is ripping right now. I'm loving it. They have Mouse on the back end. Not too worried about it. 
Is he going to be mouse old? No, Annihilate's just going to come back out here. And I can't be sport either, which is amazing. So from here, I'm just going to Shadow Ball you down. And I might as well just go for Energy Ball. I might as well go for it. You end up withdrawing. That's actually a really good withdrawal. Going into Mouse Old. Are you just going to protect here? What are you doing? What are you doing? Fluttermaid's asleep, so the Shadow Ball. Wouldn't have done anything anyway, because he swapped into a normal type. And Rage Fist is flying here. Now, does the damage stack from last time? That's the real question. Of course it does. Of course it does. That's just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. So, Fluttermane, hopefully you can wake up this turn and finish off that uh, Mouse Hold. And then we kind of go from there. Which end's not going to be bad, because I could... I was going to say, I could Terrastalize. But I could also set up a Leech Seed. I do have Dragonite. I do have Dragonite, which I... Mm, first turn priority is going to be good for us. I'm just going to go into Wu Chen. Do I go into Wu Chen? I mean, I do have Palm Puff. I do have Palm Puff. Yeah, I'm going to go into Wu Chen here. I am just going to go into the Wu Chen. I'm going to try to set up a Leech Seed if I can. Uh, I am going to go for the Gleam. Because if I can Gleam and get this Leech Seed set up, that could be really good for us. Let's do it. Can you wake up, Fluttermane? That's all I asked for. So you're going to hard swap into you. You might end up just protecting the Annihilate here. And he goes back into Amoogus, which is full HP. Spikes disappear from the ground. That's wild. That is wild that Spikes disappear. That ends up happening. We're still asleep, which is kind of annoying. He's going to Rage Fist KO. And can we please land a Sleet Seed? We'd probably just swap after this, but still. It gives a chance by Dragonite to come out here. We do have Ice Spinner with Dragonite to get rid of the Amoogus. It would work wonders. So Leech Seed comes out here, and we do end up landing him, which is really, really good for us. So we got the Leech Seed set up. Um, I could just start protecting Wu Chen. I could start Ice Spinnering. Um, hmm. What is the play here? What is the play? This is a solid battle. Our, our opponent is playing really well. And like I said in the beginning, the, our problem with this match is going to be Annihilate. And they're playing this Annihilate really, really well. We don't need Tailwind Speed. So I don't think wasting a turn with Tailwind is going to be the play call. I just think going into like Ice Spinners is going to be the play call. So I'm just going to Ice Spinner you, and then on top of that, I might just protect you. Or I could just foul play this slot. Because I, I feel like he might swap here. So if I foul play and just get rid of it, that could be that could be good for us. I could definitely sw see him swapping into Mouse Hold. Let's see what our opponent does here. So I really wish I had Terror into Poison at this point. But the Glamour Terror was definitely clutch, but Rage Fist just ripped into it. For no reason. So he ends up just Rage Fisting you. We are not multi-scale, which kind of sucks. And how much damage is this really going to do? Why? Why so much damage? For no reason. This Pokemon's OP. Rage Fist really is OP. Foul play, rip, and spore. You can't spore me. I mean, I was probably going after the Dragonite. And he's going to get leftovers. He's going to heal up a little bit. And I feel like we just protect here. Why is that doing so much damage? For no reason. For no reason. And why did Toxic Spikes leave when Amoongus hit the field? Like, I know it has Regenerator. Does that do that? Does that take off stuff? But do I protect? Do I go for a foul play? I think I just foul play and try to KO this thing. He goes for a Drain Punch. Yeah, I knew that was coming. You get back a ton of HP. Kind of hurts the soul. Kind of hurts the soul. How much HP are you get back? That much? Okay. As long as you don't Pollen Puff your own Annihilate here, right? And that's exactly what they do. Yeah, dude, what a first match, though. Long, drawn out. I really did like it. Annihilate's just ridiculously strong. Like, Rage Fist KO and my Dragonite in one shot. My Glamora in one shot. I can't really do anything about it. That is just ridiculously strong. Plus, our opponent played really good swapping in and out. Getting it out at the perfect time to hit us hard. And now, yeah, it's game set match. It is game set match. Because say I protect here, he just palm pops with the Moongus. And then he just constantly drain punches into me. There's no way around this. There's no way around it. So I'm just going to run this match. It's going to be GG's. We're 0-1 to get things started. Let's hop to our second. Look for our first victory. Second match coming at you guys. And our opponent played really well in that last match. That Annihilate was nasty. They swapped it in and out at the perfect times and just won the battle. They're probably pushing like top 100 now because they were about 250 when they versed us. So congrats to them. We're going up against a Bax Caliber and Ting Lu team with Amoongus, Arcanine, Palafin, which is so good. So good. And then Fluttermane as his final Pokemon. So taking Lou could be a little bit of a problem. Drop special attack. Kind of makes me want to bring in Gyarados at this point, right? I mean, I like the stall in the back in Wocheng and Glamora, but I'm really liking Gyarados here. They want to lead Arcanine. We got you. They want to lead Ting Lu. We got, we got him as well. So 
I really do like that. I really do like that. And then our second Pokemon, do I go in with Dragonite? Do I go in with Fluttermane? Hmm. I know Tingle is a little bit of a problem, but I kind of like Fluttermane here. I kind of like Fluttermane. So I'm going to go Fluttermane, I'm going to go Gyarados, and then Wochan and Glamora in the back end. Plus, if they go Palafin, we have Wochan, which is a nice little grass type. Pretty bulky here as well. Drops that uh, physical attack stat. So, Wochan, real deal. He the real deal. He the real deal. And then I can just lead seed and pretty much just stall out the whole match if I want to. But that's what I'm looking to do. That is what I'm looking to do because I really want to grab ourselves a win here in this match. Really want to go into match number three, one and one. I have not grabbed ourselves a losing record in today in uh in series three yet. So hopefully today's not the first day, but I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But they end up going Ting Lu, which lowers special attack. So I mean both our flutter mains are going to be lowered on special attack, but the intimidate is going to do pretty well onto that uh onto you right there. So from here, I think I might just not terrestrialize and I might even D dance here. I might even D-Dance. I do have Flying Terra, which is not bad, but I like my Terra type, so I'm going to go for the D-Dance here. And I could Gleam. I could Gleam, because I feel like Fluttermane might even Thrasilize here. But just in case it doesn't, you know, let's throw it. Let's throw this right here right now. So I'm going to D-Dance. I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. And the best part about Gyarados with its typing is it can't get hit by Fissures. It's a Flying type, which is awesome. So a lot of Tinglus are ripping with Fissure. I haven't seen one land yet, but I know everyone's using it. I know everyone's using it. And even in the last match, they tried using one on my uh, on my Pokemon. I ended up just dodging it. But Shadow Ball is going to fly. How much damage is this really going to do? Look how much damage it neglects. That's from Ting Lu's stuff. But good thing to know that we outspeed. And Fluttermane goes for a sub. And it's allowed to go for a sub. That's wild. So it subs up. Goes down to really low HP. And I might just double down into the next turn. We get off a lovely Dragon Ants. And what are you going for, Ting Lu? A ruination, maybe? Heavy Slam. He ends up opting to go for the Heavy Slam. And I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. I got off a Dragon Dance with my Gyarados, which I really, really like. And now from here, I could just double down to Fluttermane. Waterfall into a Gleam. Thing is, is Gleam going to do anything? <laughs> is Gleam really going to do anything? I don't know. You know what? From here, I'm just going to go for a Waterfall into this slot. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to Waterfall Ting Lu down. I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball here. Because I don't think Gleam could take off Substitute, right? I don't think it can. I really don't think it can. Plus, I can see a Fluttermane Protect here from their Fluttermane. And Ting Lu just finishing off my Fluttermane. That could definitely be a play. But yeah, if I get rid of Ting Lu, I would really like where we're sitting. Gary to Gyarados with a Dragon Dance turn 1. I love that. I love it so much. I love it so much. But wow, dude, that uh, that sub was big. That sub was perfect. Uh, we're gonna take off the sub right here. We'll deal with Fluttermane next turn. We'll allow Fluttermane to get off the turn just so we can hit this thing with a big time, uh, big time waterfall. Plus one. How much damage are we doing? Big time damage. That's exactly what I want to get off because they might double down in me. Yeah. There's a Moonblast. We soak that up, and of course you get the special attack drop, but it don't matter. We're physical attacking, and Life Orb, did that KO? Let's go. It was Life Orb. Life Orb ended up knocking it out, and this thing's just gonna go for Stomping Tantrum, finish my Fluttermane off. Okay, so Tink Lu's low HP. I could bring out Wu Qian here. That would be a good time. That would be a lovely time to bring out Wu Qian. Right, or do I bring out Glamora? I think I just bring out Wu Chen and start setting up the seeds. I think we just start setting up some seeds here, baby. Getting some seeds cooking. So Moongus got okay, now we can't set up no seeds. Kinda ugly, kind of annoying. But from here, what could we do? Glamour would have been so nice. A little bit better than that. Uh huh. I think we just terrasalize and try to finish you off. That's gonna be my play. Terrasalize. I'm gonna palm puff and just heal up my boy. Keep Gyarados alive, right? Gotta keep Gary alive. Gotta keep Gary. So Gary's gonna be our boy. Wo Chen's just gonna heal up. And we're gonna go from there. He might be trying to land Fishers on my Wo Chen. Could be a problem. Could be a problem. Well, we've Gyarados probably going back up to about full HP after this. Should be able to take out the uh, movies, no problem, right? Yeah, get it on out of here. Get that thing on out of here. We're just going to rip into that thing. We didn't want to put any of my Pokemon to sleep. And now we're just Palm Puffing for the HP. I can see the Ting Lu going for Fishers, right? I can definitely see it happening, but I really like where we're sitting. 
Anyway, just go for Ruination, which I really don't mind. I really don't mind. That's gonna half my HP. You're gonna bring out your final Pokemon. I'm gonna try to just seed it up, and it's we're pretty much locking this one down, right? We're pretty much locking it down. Who is your last Pokemon? Is the real question. They still have Terra, though, too. Correct? Yeah, they still have Terra. It's me, Bax Caliber. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. Actually, I kind of mind it. I kind of do mind it. Uh, ch 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 from here, do I just waterfall that? I'm gonna just Terra Blast this thing. I gotta get off as much damage as I can over on that thing. Then I'm just gonna Palm Puff to try to take out the Ting Lu. Battle was canceled. That works perfectly. One and one for today's video. Let's hop to our third and final. Look for a winning record. So guys, Gyarados came in clutch in that last battle, MVPing with that Dragon Dance, just ripping up some damage, and it's Flying Terror came up clutch, Will Chen was healing up, we were not losing that battle. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, looking for another winning record, looking, more importantly, looking to not get our first losing record for Series 3. Going up against a Shen Pao, Gargonackle, and Flutter main team with Scizor, Iron Valiant, and Will Chen. Dragon Knight's going to be great here if they do bring Shen Pao, so I'm going to bring my boy Dragon Knight. Gotta love this Pokemon. Gotta bring him in here. Um, who else do I see them bring him? Wo Chen? Yes. Gargonackle? Yes. I mean, hmm. Gargonackle's a problem. We can't poison that. We can lead cheat it. We can lead cheat it. But we can't poison it, which kind of sucks, right? It, it's kind of off. But I can still bring Glamora just to Terra and have that energy ball. So I like them in the back end yet again. I am going to lead Dragonite here. Loving me some Dragonite. And I might even lead Gyarados. So I really want Fluttermane. Kind of do, kind of don't. It's good up against everything except for the scissor, right? Except for the scissor. So how would I take out scissor? I would need a Pokemon more so like Gyarados. So you know what? I'm going to bring Gyarados over Fluttermane. And then bring Lamora and Wo Chen. The only Pokemon we didn't showcase today is going to be Gothitelle. Gothitelle is more so just there for the stall game, for the Parasong with the uh, Fluttermane. But yeah, I, I'm, I think we can grab ourselves this winning record. Hopefully, hopefully. That second match, we, we, we clean up pretty well there. We just dragon ants and then he went into a moves. We're like, yeah, yo, we got flying terror ripped into that. No problem. We were just, we were just getting after it. And then I palm puff healed it back to full HP, and our opponent was probably like, come on, man, chill on me. They end up leading Flutter Main. I'm sorry, Iron Valley. Two special attackers. Uh, we could start e speeding. We can start e speeding if need be. Um, could also terrestrialize our Dragonite. Might want to be our play, right? You want to be our play, which I think it's going to be our play just to do that. And then, do I D-Dance here, or do I just start attacking? Do I D-Dance, or do I just start attacking? I think we just start attacking this Fluttermane, right? No, really need to D-Dance up. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. But yeah, we're gonna, we gotta try Slice Dragonite. It's our, it's our best bet at winning. Two Fairy Pokemon right here. I'm not dealing with it. I mean, he could read it and go for a, fight, a fighting move into my Dragonite. But they're just going to end up terrestrializing you into straight fairy for a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. I see you. I feel you. I understand. But now, now, just know, Fluttermane, you can be east speeded. You just took away your ghost typing. You have just taken away your ghost typing. We'll see how this one plays out here. I think he's just going to KO my dragon. I don't have multi scale. Kind of sucks. Really wish I did, but E Speed's gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing into this thing? This thing is usually Sash, though. But so that's a nice chunk of damage there. And we get to see the uh, speeds. So Moonblast flying here, probably into my Dragonite, right? Was that in the Dragonite? Or was that Gyarados? Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna give a free Focus Ash to my Gyarados. Okay. I feel you. <laughs> free Focus Ash to my Gyarados. I don't mind that. Now, who outspeeds? Probably Valiant over my Gyarados? Yeah. They're just gonna Spirit Break me down. He's gonna pick up the KO, no problem. Um. Fluttermane's the Pokemon I'm worried about, right? Fluttermane's a problem. Fluttermane is a problem. I think Glamora's gonna come out here. I'm not a fan of the Fluttermane here. And I'm just gonna Mortal Spin. And who do I E-Speed down? I feel like I E-Speed this. This Fluttermane down. Fluttermane's the problem. I'm just gonna Mortal Spin across the board. I mean, it's not gonna do anything crazy, but it's gonna set up the poisons. You lovely little poisons. And I could see a Protect coming out from Valiant, right? Because we e-speed it last turn. Ah, oh, or I could see a fighting move coming out from it. I do wonder. I'm hoping it's just protecting. Because then I'll potentially e-speed it next turn. Yeah, this one's not looking good for us right now. 
one's not looking good. They double down to Magaros. They got good typing up against us. It's not looking good. This is a time I wish I had Sludge Bomb, right? This is a time which I, <laughs> when I wish I had Sludge Bomb. Because I had to get rid of these fairy Pokemon for my boy Shin to even have a shot in this third and fi final match. So, so he ends up withdrawing here. I, I can deal with that. Who's going to take this East Speed? That's the real question. Great swap. Great swap. He ends up protecting. Great, great swap. Great, great swap. East Speed's going to fly here. We're going to take probably more Life Orb damage than anything. So we chip up a little bit. And Mortal Spin gonna come out here and get blocked. And on top of that, it does not affect the seal type. Kinda sucks. It kinda sucks, right? It hurts soul. Uh hmm. I don't know how we're gonna deal with the scissor, right? Scissor's a problem. Obviously we want to use speed to take you out. That's 100 percent our play. And I guess we'll just Energy Ball or is power we got power gem? I guess power gem. We're rock typing. I guess we'll just power gem you down. This thing's just gonna faint me. So he just wanted to get off a little bit of damage. He knew what was happening. He was just like, let me faint this thing to get off a little bit of damage. Kind of a smart play. And we just finished that thing off. So we get rid of you. I wonder what Dragonite's do. Or not Dragonite. I wonder what scissors doing. Just B punching me? Is that, is that your play? You just going for the B punches? You're not. You're going for some X scissors, right? Power Gem's chipping up some nice damage. I really like that. Of course this thing's better. Because I was going to say, E-Speed might be able to take that out. But it's good to know that we do outspeed that thing if it's not using it first time prior to move. But he's just going to pounce on me. He goes for the pounce. My speed's going to drop, but I'm still E-Speeding. And a Power Gem should be able to clean up the Skizzy Skizzle. Okay, so we have Wu Chen in the back end. I like it. If they bring out Shen Pao, that'd be wild. But I think it's just going to be Flutterbug again, right? It's going to be Shen Pao. He just picked up my physical attack stat. I really like that. And from here, I'm just going to E-speed you. And I'm just going to power gem you. And Scissor has got to go. Sad part about this is I don't think Wu Chen can 1v1 the fun main, right? It's tough. It is tough. It would be close. It would be a close match. We'll see. We shall see. It's such a good match. It's such a good match. So he finally brings out the Shen Pao. Shen Pao, probably Sash, right? Probably most likely Sash. He ends up just straight up protecting, which is a smart play. But, are you bull punching? Is that thing bull punching? What's it doing? Please don't bull punch me. I kind of need an E speed here. He is going to bull punch. And yeah, we're dead to that all day. So he ends up finishing us off. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. We end up dropping out here, and probably a smart play would have been more so to think about that and maybe protect my Dragonite and then go into a Power Gem to finish off Scissor. Yeah, that could have been really good, but now we're sitting here having to deal with this. Uh, I think we just double down to Shen Pao, but it's a problem. I mean, we could poison. We could poison. I would rather Power Gem maybe, but I'm thinking of just poisoning and maybe Leech Seeding somebody. But <laughs> this is a problem. We're dealing with these two. So this will lower the attack of Shen Pao, which is good. I mean, defense is lowered, so it kind of evens out. Uh, but from here, I could pop off. I'm thinking of just... I think I just leech sheet in this thing and just mortal spinning for the poisons, right? Poison will take off Sash, and we'll kind of go from there. But Ice Spin is just going to fly and be, be a problem for us, right? Yeah, because Gleam, Gleam's probably going to chuck up some nice damage. We do drop the Toxic Spikes. doesn't really matter. They're not, they can't swap in and out anymore. And they got speed all day. Go for my Wu Chan, please. Not my Glamora, yo. Leave my Glamora alone. Glamora's able to eat, though. I'll take that. Glamora spin coming out here. A little bit of damage, but more importantly, the poison's on the board. We got the poison's on the board. We got the poison. I need land to sleep seed. I really do. Come on, Wu Chen. I need you, buddy. Alright, so <laughs> lead seed in effect. Poison's in effect. Um. I feel like from here, we have to lead seed the Shen Pao, right? We have to lead seed to Shen Pao. There's no no need for us to protect. We're gonna lead seed to Shen Pao, and we are gonna go for a. I guess maybe just power gem into the Shen Pao, just in case lead seed misses. We could just take it out. So yeah, we're gonna lead seed you, and I'm just gonna power gem you. That's my play. He might even protect, protect Shen Pao. No, he stays in here. He's gonna finish you. So that's fine. That is fine. So you're gone. We could protect next turn, but again, I would. Uh, 
door to land this lead sheet right here. I would love it. Moonblast flying. It's terrifying. And that just one shots us? Get out of here. Get out of here. That just one shots my Wo Chan. That is so upsetting. I thought we had a shot at winning that. That is so upsetting. So guys, we had a little bit of a heartbreaker in that last episode. I definitely thought Wo Chan had a shot until that Fluttermane just one tap it. I thought we could eat eat one up. Maybe two after Leech Seed HP recovery, right? I was planning on setting up two Leech Seeds, getting that HP recovery at the end of the turn, protecting, getting that again, and having two turns of leftovers, we would have went up super, super high. So all I really wanted to do was just survive that turn and land that Leech Seed, but we got absolutely ripped on. Absolutely ripped on. Really do wish I would have had my uh, Terror type there. But it's all good. It definitely is all good. First losing record for Series 3. Hurts the soul. We'll bounce back next time. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.